President Donald Trump will be on the ballot in Arkansas for the 2020 presidential election after Sarah Huckabee Sanders and Attorney General Leslie Rutledge did the honors this morning. So happy to be back in Arkansas and get to be part of this very special day and helping make sure that our great president's name shows up on the ballot. The paperwork was filed as part of a brief ceremony today, but perhaps the most interesting part of that ceremony was when Sanders and Rutledge were asked about each of their interest in a run for governor of Arkansas. And Tyler Thomason joins us now to explain. Hey guys, good evening. Well, neither one of them said yes, and neither one of them said no, leaving the door open for a potential shot at the state's top office in 2022. We look forward to working with you to make sure he gets reelected. With the president's signature and a hefty check, Sarah Huckabee Sanders and Attorney General Leslie Rutledge cemented President Trump's name on Arkansas ballots for the 2020 presidential election. Such an honor to get to be in Arkansas to file on behalf of the president that I had the opportunity and the privilege to work for over the last two and a half years. Election talk pivoted a bit when both women were asked whether they planned to be on the ballot in 2022 as candidates for governor. That question was met with uncertain answers. Today we are focused on reelecting uh, President Trump. We've got three football seasons left till 2022, so we're focused on the 2020 election. So let's not forget that our current governor just got reelected about 15 minutes ago. Let's let him be governor. I think he's got a lot left to do. Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin remains the lone candidate to throw his name in the hat for the state's top office so far. There's going to be plenty of time for 2022 discussion, and when that comes up, we'll be happy to answer those questions. But right now, I think the focus is exactly where it needs to be, and that's on 2020. And some numbers to let you know about this afternoon. As of late this afternoon, 14 Democratic presidential candidates have filed ballot paperwork in Arkansas. Two Republican presidential candidates, including President Trump and Rocky De La Fuenta out of California, and one independent presidential candidate. That's all according to the Secretary of State's office. Back to you guys.